Kusa Sangpo and hello to all of you my friends. Today I am here to show you how I actually make my ginger candy with brown sugar. As you see I have taken some fresh ginger which is already pre-washed and it's ready to be cleaned. Next, I'm going to clean all of my ginger and then rinse it. Ginger is ready and it's rinsed and ready to be cut into thin slices. So I'm going to cut all the ginger into thin slices. Ginger is all cut into thin slices and this is ready to be cooked. So I'm going to cook this ginger in a pressure cooker. And uh, I will cook it, I mean, I will let it whistle for like two to three whistles. And after that, I'll stop the cooking. I have added like two cups of water and I'm going to let this cook in a pressure cooker and let it whistle for two to three whistles maximum and check after that if the ginger is cooked. So after three whistles, I have let the pressure cooker rest and I am going to check if the ginger is cooked now. The ginger looks good, it's cooked. And uh, let me try it. And actually it should break easily. So this is how it should break. See how it's like breaking uh, apart easily. So that's, uh, that means it's cooked. The next process is I'm going to drain the ginger water and uh, please don't throw this ginger water. We're going to use the same ginger water to make our sugar syrup or caramelized sugar. I have taken a shallow pan and uh, next I'm going to add is uh, brown sugar. I will be adding the ginger water that we saved earlier. So the ratio here is one cup of brown sugar and one cup of ginger water. And I'm going to let this cook until uh, the sugar and uh, the ginger water is caramelized. I'm going to let this boil until the sugar syrup is ready uh, but make sure that you keep stirring it and cook this in a very low flame or heat. So my sugar syrup looks ready now and I'm going to do two kind of test here. One on a plate and one with the fingers. So as you see that I'm dropping it on the plate and still uh, it's running down. So that means the sugar syrup is not ready yet. And let me cook for a few more minutes and then check. So after a few minutes, I'm going to do another test. You see how when I drop on the plate, it's not uh, running down. So that means this is ready. And the next test I'm going to do is with the finger. So make sure uh, the syrup is not very hot when you take it on the finger. It could burn your finger if not. See how I am testing it? So what we need is this like one string that when you 
tap it and then break it apart. You see that one string? So that means the string should not break and that means it's ready. Uh, the next process is to add the cooked ginger in the sugar syrup. Uh, make sure friends uh, at this time that your water is fully drained from the cooked ginger. And once you have all the ginger in the pan, keep stirring it uh, so that way the sugar syrup gets incorporated to the ginger evenly and also to prevent from the sugar uh, syrup sticking to your pan. So I generally like to stir it every two to three minutes unt or until the water is reduced. So the water has been reduced uh, as you see it friends and uh, the sugar syrup and the ginger are incorporated very well as you see it and I can see the release of sugar syrup also like when I try to separate it. So this means it's done and uh, this is ready to be put in a plate and let it dry. So for that process I'm going to take a chopstick it's much easier I find it to work with the chopstick to put it uh, on a plate or at this time it's a very good practice for you to learn how to use chopstick. So I'm going to take a plate and uh, put this individually like just put one by one I mean I know it's a long process and uh, one other thing you have to keep in mind friends is because you cannot let uh, this cool down because if it cools down it's very difficult uh, to pick up and then put it uh, separately on the plate. So this is how I do it like one by one. And I know friends it looks uh, very tedious but trust me the end result uh, when you taste this ginger syrup it's worth every work that you have done and you won't regret it. So my plate is almost full right now and uh, I'm going to let this dry, air dry is what I'm going to do or just put it under a fan or something if you have a fan or if not you can just let it air dry for like uh, 10 to 12 hours. So this is what I have right now after putting it in a plate. So like I said I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to put it under the fan and let it dry completely. I mean it's not going to be like very crunchy dry like the chips or anything else. So it's going to be like soft and chewy but uh, you will know it when it's dried. So it won't stick to your fingers. So I will see you after it's dried friends. Friends ginger candy is dried and ready to be eaten. This is delicious. I've already tried it a few pieces and uh, this one you can store up to six months in an airtight container and you can just eat it whenever you feel like you have a sweet tooth. I hope you make the same recipe friends and uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my kitchen next time friends.